thank you, Knorr, for the host. Welcome, Knorr fans. Um, I'm actually uh, just playing uh, as... <laughs> my my hair does that on its own, uh, Squirrel Dude. Uh, I'm actually playing as humans now, which is uh, not really my favorite team. Um, yesterday I played them for three games and gotten some ones. Um, now I've got uh, a loss and a tie so far, so they're not really doing too well. Uh, drew quite a nasty fireball. So I've got a uh, Guard Ogre, a Plus Strength Blitzer, a Mighty Blow Blitzer, uh, a Dirty Player, Lineman, a Block Catcher, and not much else yet. So low team value game here. And we're playing against Bretonian. Nice. Knights at the round table there. 140k, well, let's make that 150. You know what? I've got money to burn. Let's get a bribe as well. No, so I'm not going to retire these guys because, you know, with humans, I'm not going to be playing for the first uh, page anyway. So I don't mind the occasional loss. Uh, if my Wood Elves would lose a game right now, I would retire them and restart them. But with the humans, I'm just going to accept that they're going to be mediocre, basically. So, here we are. I do think the humans have some really good animation work, especially on the Blitzers. And more Dirty Player is definitely the plan, yes. Go. What does he have? Rookie Frenzy. Keep that in mind. Guard. Guard Mighty Blow. Dirty Player. Guard. Uh, Mighty Blow also. Block. Right, so he's picked sensible skills. He's got a block accurate. Um, what else? Pass Blitzer. I would, will want to get my dirty player on the team. Uh, dirty player gives you a plus one to both uh, either armor or injury on a foul action. And uh, humans really need something. It's not so much that dirty player is that good, it's just that humans are that mediocre. I think I'll just send my catcher out to be honest. Thanks for the follow, D'Amico. Uh, Domiku. So. Let's see. I don't really need my throw right now. Either. Thank you, Sean Man, for following. Here we go. So, rookie, dirty player, rookie, rookie, rookie. Let's put the no star player points guide there. You know what they say about guys with big noses, right? So the thing is with humans, about the only thing you've really got going for it is um, having a, a, the cheap lineman and a big bench. Obviously the blitzers are good players. Uh, you can go with or without an ogre in my opinion. But you really want the... Uh... Thanks for the follow. Yep, it's nice to have some people in again. So humans really are not my roster. Um, I'm very much a... Uh, 
<laughs> Ooh, nice. So I've got a wizard. He hasn't left me any very easy spots to blitz through. But I guess getting a Mighty Blow Punch... Ah, oh, I don't have guard. Yeah. My only guard is the Ogre who's stuck in there. Getting a Mighty Blow Punch on the uh, Frenzier is tempting. Hmm. But really, I'm going to have to go for this one. Let's see. Yes. Let's just mark something up here. Make some space. Hmm. Here's all right. You can actually foul on a uh, blitz action or on a blitz turn, can't you? I think that's technically not allowed per the rules, but you know what? Let's get, just give him some uh, run for his money. Make him work a little. He's relying on these assists uh, to counter my guard, so let's make that a bit more difficult. Allman's LOS is a terrible thing to do if your uh, opponent can plan for it, but in this case of course you really can't. So that makes it more interesting to say at least. And foul the frenzy guy. Ah, bugger. Rubbish start here. Let's use the bride. Thanks for the follow, Anub. Anubis. Here we go. Hey, Bustahimo, good to see you. So, uh, Bustahimo is the uh, the champion who built me this uh, brilliant overlay that you guys see. Really appreciate that. So, I have been suffering uh, some minute uh, connection issues lately. So sometimes my connection will drop for uh, five to ten seconds. Yep, the one die worked. Uh, usually, um, this means the stream will actually just keep going because of buffering, but it will interrupt the uh, the game for a couple of seconds. So he's been um, pushing it with the one dice. That does seem risky. Of course he does have Dauntless, so blocking the Ogre is uh, acceptable here. Yep, and it's good. But at least I'm, I'm keeping the pressure on here. Um, of course with Agility 2 he can't really do that much in terms of getting away. So the reason uh, Bustahimo went with this specific uh, look for the overlay is that uh, I'm a university teacher in my day-to-day -day life. So it kind of fits what I do. And I also very much enjoy teaching Blood Bowl also. So I figured that makes sense. <laughs> Thank you, Biggles. Yes. Ooh, that could be big. That could be huge. Let's see. So I've got my strength four here. Uh, it might be strange, but not for Biggles, to be honest. Um... Let's see get everyone up and connected. So far this has been working reasonably well. Mm. And with the ball loose, getting these guys marked is still worth doing. Um, 
at least get some guys around the ogre to benefit from the guard. Uh, well, it helps when you've played a couple of thousand games, uh, quick draw. Thanks. So I'll block this guy, blitz this. Hmm, one, two, three. I could just dodge and blitz the uh, guy here, to be honest. Yeah, let's go with that. So I'm going to mark everything again. So this way he's going to have to go for some one die blocks again. Which, on average, should go against him at some point. I'll keep this guy here as a safety. And let's do this thing. Yes, obviously this is worth a reroll. So far so good. So I think I've played about 3,000 games by now. Uh, just about two and a half thousand of those are over on Fumble. So now this block is worth doing with this assist, I guess. Can I get here? No, not really. Get this guy off. Yes. Fend, obviously. But at least he can block this guy free. So I'm not exactly safe with the ball here, but it is a very comfortable position to have. I never really played uh, Blood Bowl 1. I know that there's people who play over on Fumble who do get very, very angry and very salty when the game doesn't go their way. Some of them have been playing forever. So I can get irritated when I notice that I make mistakes or when I feel like the luck is really, really bad. But, you know, just... I think that the best way to enjoy the game is actually to... Uh, also appreciate when stuff goes wrong. The way I see it, uh, Blood Bowl is uh, a, a funny and random game. It's meant to be. It's not meant to be too serious. It just happens to be good enough that you can treat it as such. Um, but the game is primarily a game meant to be played for fun and for random shits. And if you, if you consider it that way, um, you know, if if you if you fail that go for it into the end zone with snake eyes, you should just really be laughing with your opponent about the bullshit. Personally, I would make that two dice, I think. Yeah. So he's using the wrestler, that makes sense. So he's gonna make it two dice, but he doesn't have anyone to safely pick up with after that. He does have my blow, but I'm good. Giggle shits, yes. Exactly. Well, the the what helps is if you're if you're a pretty skilled coach, then your unlucky streaks will con still contain more wins than losses, I think. What did really stress me out was uh when the game crashed and I lost due to that. You know, when you have a team that's played seventy five games and lost one of them, losing another due to a crash is of course Highly, highly frustrating. Yes, I, I remember I remember those days, Biggles. Uh, that was a long time ago for me, but I did experience them as well. So, how far can this guy get? So I can get a 3 plus 2 die blitz on this. That's good. Don't really... So without the ogre, getting everyone connected doesn't make nearly as much sense. This guy has frenzy. So I probably will just want to go like this. Well, actually, uh, yeah, Stunty League is something like that, to be honest. So I will be playing a bit more conservatively now, since I don't think I'll manage the... Uh, the best play. I 
Come on, do it. Uh, yeah, that is worth my last reroll, I'm afraid. And it's a push. God damn it! I will want to make this one go for it, even though I've already used my... Uh, and down he goes. Yeah, so while, while this half has been full of great opportunities, it's also been uh, tempting me to use up all my rerolls on off chances and not quite succeeding. So not too happy with that. Well, I don't know. I think it also depends on the team and on your goals with them, right? I mean, if... Uh, I could check out my Dark Elves after this uh, Sean Man, but there, there's something along those lines, yes. Um, if I think my Dark Elves have uh, 70 wins, 4 uh, ties and 2 losses, and one of those 2 losses is from a uh, crash of the game, yes. Um, so it really depends on your goals with the team, right? If you're if you want to play a game a team that never loses, playing for ties is fine. If you want to play a team that has enormous fun, uh, playing goblins and going for pitch clears is fun. Uh, just play the way you like. Uh, I've played a chaos team with no claw, no mighty blow, and no piling on. I really enjoy that. Obviously, I'm not going to play it against uh, claw foam opponents, but they're they're fun. Yes. Uh, I also really enjoy playing Lizardman without Mighty Blow, basically. Just guard, uh, block, uh, some Frenzy, some Stand Firm. That's cool. I'm really not much of a basher, to be honest. I've played the occasional bash, guys, but uh, it's not my forte. So now I'm playing catch up. An ultimate challenge, Matto. Let's hear it. So the good news is his friends here is the one who has the ball. Uh, yeah, that sounds pretty damn unlikely. So with the fact that this is my dirty player, I might want to just file this guy, to be honest. Nice Black Seed. I guess you were playing against Undead or Necro then? Yeah, it does suck that they don't have much diversity. Uh, and as someone pointed out, what's really weird is that they don't have uh, any halflings because all they would have, to, all they would need is one halfling model because they already have the trees. Yeah, so that's necro. Yes, uh, I could follow this to add an assist to the foul, but I'd rather not. <laughs> Block is good. Go armor seven. Um, so before the foul, I might want to. Well, he's not getting surfed, and he is tying up some players for the moment. So I'm just going to go here. Now, I've already used my bribe, so if the foul is bad again, it would really suck. Nope, but it's still a... And down he goes. No reroll city. That's true. So if you're playing uh, Underworld Goblins, you will need uh, Goblins with mutations. Um, Although I guess you could do them, uh, you could cheese them a little. 
Hmm, so he's switching sides. Fair enough, he's got the movement for it. And the rerolls. Huh, Vessel is not going to help him, so he'll need to take the push. Yep, animosity. But it's true, the same goes for tabletop, to be honest. I don't think they're that bad. I mean, sure, they're they're kind of tacked on, but at least they add flavor. I like the fact that they're there. But then I've also played tabletop, and their mutations are uh, rare, and if they're there, they're sometimes on the wrong player and stuff. Yeah, so I, I have never seen uh, the two mouths thing. I'll uh, I'll keep an eye out for it next time. I do like the uh, the chaos mutations and and uh, tails. Yes, you have an animosity check when uh, one of your uh, Skaven players tries to give the ball to anyone who isn't a Skaven. So where's my strength four dude? Oh, back there, isn't he? No, it's not a, a minus one. It's a single two plus roll in addition to anything else. If you want to either hand off or pass the ball to someone who's not also Skaven. So he does have guard here, which means I cannot get a two die on the ball. That's a pity. Oh, fair enough. I would do that foul too. But it fails. Nice. Hmm. I think I'm just going to try and get my ogre to be relevant again. Blitz him in here, which is not ideal. But with the guard here and block on the ball carrier, I really can't benefit too much from uh, other kinds of plays. Let's see, block here. Well, let's get these guys in position first. I suppose I could blitz with... No, let's stand him up. I'll blitz with the block guy with the mighty, uh, mighty Blow Blitzer here. So, get in his face a little bit because guard. But you can get uh, you can get the Twitch either full screen or uh, in uh, what is it uh, theater mode? Theater mode should help, right? But yeah, it uh, it was really designed for for 1080p. Also, in Bustahimo's defense, uh, he didn't want to do the uh, the banner thing underneath here. Uh, that was really on my request. Let's just stand him up for now. If I get lucky later, he can get a, a touchdown. And at least this guy doesn't have... So I'm not going to foul this turn. I am going to mark both of these guys with this one player. Hmm. Do I want to get here? Or there? He's going to go south anyway. I probably want to tag this guy. Make it a bit harder to get around here. And let's mighty blow this guard guy. Ah, bugger. More wrestle. Yeah, so Bretonians are a team that I would never really get. Yeah, it is weird. They 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 got a lot of it almost right, I think. Well, at least I've got some pressure on him now. Dauntless is a good skill for this matchup for my opponent. Because I have both a an ogre and a plus strength uh, blitzer here. So he's getting some good value on that. <laughs> I like that description, Justin. Yeah. 
And frenzy into a one die. Ah, that's a pity. Well, at least it's gotten him out of position a little. Well, to be honest, since I mostly play as elves, I'm usually not that scared of the Minotaur. Interesting, this. I should be getting a good shot at the ball. I actually like the animation. I think they add a little suspense, especially if you only... Uh... Oh, yeah, this is a blitzer. Especially if you only animate on armor breaks, I think it really adds... Personally, I would prefer if it would only animate on a KO or better. He's just leaving all of these guys in favor of a foul. That is some bad decision making right here. He's basically sacrificing the ball entirely for a foul on the ogre. Well, so the, the, the main thing here is that uh, I'm going to apo this regardless of what it is. Badly hurt? Yes, apo. Definitely. Yeah, let's take the dead. Duh. Um, so the uh, the reason I'm not that scared of the Minotaur usually is because I've got Blodge on everyone. And, uh, you know, everyone but the Minotaur on a Chaos team can get block and tackle, and uh, the Minotaur will not have tackle. <laughs> so... I'm a lot more scared of a team value 1800 chaos team that does not have uh, a Mino than one that does. So this is one of those micro lapses that I mentioned. Uh, my connection will drop for a couple of seconds and then come back on. Sorry about that guys. I will try and get it fixed soon. Yeah, I do agree, uh, quick draw, even though you've caught but that. And we're back, see, here we go. So I don't have any block here. I do, actually. Then again, so I can blitz this, and that way if it's a push, then this guy can block it again. That seems like the best thing to do. Are these guys going to do anything but get up? No, so I want them. Uh, I actually just bought a new webcam, uh, the Black Seed. <laughs> this is uh, uh, the uh, uh, Logitech 920. Uh, I just installed it like today. So both down here would suck. A push would be acceptable. Here we go. It is a push. Because that way I get to block here. Do I want to follow this? Yes, because then I can chain push and get the ball free still. Suppose this fails. I will want this guy up. I will want this block down good here and follow stun would have been fantastic but so ah oh, damn 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 not getting what I need out of this right now I'm gonna go with this then yes follow and go here Getting this guy down might be nice. Well, that's okay. So these were the plays that didn't really matter anymore. But not getting the ball down in four dice does hurt. Uh, it is better to go without a Minotaur. A Minotaur is okay um, on a starting team but really if you're uh, if you're a Minotaur as long as soon as your team for the same team value the Minotaur is you're better off without one but if your team value doesn't matter for instance if you're playing in a league that doesn't match your games by uh, <coughs> oh, this is nice that doesn't yeah, that is also a good question, Zakra. Definitely.
I mean, claw is good and tentacles are good. Um, and actually the Minotaur is one of the better big guys. It's just that Chaos are already so good that they don't actually need the Minotaur at all. So I made a considerable mistake here, uh, to be honest, um, because I should have probably used the wizard like three or four turns ago. So he's just going to make the dodge now, isn't he? Yeah, and he does. Well, that means I've got three turns to scoring, no reroll, but I do have, still have a thrower and a catcher. So that helps a little bit. You see a lot of new coaches who will just put the Minotaur on the line of scrimmage thinking, oh, strength five, that's good. Minotaurs are a target. Minotaurs are uh, armor eight on a team that has a couple of armor nine. They're also, um, you know, annoying enough that you want to kill them. So don't put don't put them where they, they can get blitzed, basically. They're really someone to blitz in on turn one. Thanks, mate. Thank you, Black Seed. Guess you wanted an even number again, huh? Yeah, there we go. A nice even 90. Thanks, mate. Well, what, what I found even more appalling is that they start off age zero. <laughs> well, I mean, half the half dice are quite alright. Actually, Tentacles isn't bad on Strength 4 either. As long as you don't assume it'll work, it's, a, it's actually not bad at all. So let's get a catcher in. Pick a side. I guess this side is just weakest, so I'll go there. Get my thrower in. Where's my thrower? Uh, this looks like a thrower. This is a catcher. That's a thrower. Humans all look the same, yes. Very true. So I'm gonna blitz this blitzer. Preferably with my Mighty Blow guy, actually. Who is where? Here. Because he's valuable enough to want to damage. Mm. Well, that's what you would assume, Trinity, but actually that's uh, that's not what it says, and that's also why the aging system is implemented wrong. Um, because the aging system was meant to uh, have them start age 18. Uh, but it now triggers on their age as if they started age zero, which is of course very weird. So I'm gonna go a bit riskier here, really commit to one side. Doesn't have kick, does he? One, two, three, four, five, six. Blitz, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get out there a little bit. Yep, this works. Now a blitz here will just kill the, the game straight out because I've really left this side open but I kind of have to push in order to get my three turn touchdown in. Perfect defense, well, not good. Um, it's going to make it a lot harder for him to defend this side, obviously. <laughs> well, at least it's symmetrical now. Yep, 
Yeah, I wouldn't really take foul appearance on anyone. There's just too many good skills to take on the kinds of players that you would consider giving it to. Even that is true, Count Cipher, except that um, the number of games it takes for for uh, uh, re retirement to kick in is now a lot longer than it was planned to be. Um, so it does seem like they've actually just screwed up the whole programming there, not just uh, the naming of the parameter. So, can I switch sides here? I suppose I could blitz this guy and then try and go through here. Let's see what the blocks do first. Oh, Fend is... Oh, for fuck's sake. Oops. I have had it with these motherfucking snakes! So, that doesn't help. That does not help. Two turns left. So if if he really tries to overcommit on marking this, uh, getting a guy to score with, that could prove beneficial. If he just defends this solidly. Thanks for the follow, man. <laughs> oh, nice. Come on, you could do that again. Yes, yes. You can do that again, absolutely. No! Okay. So I might have to uh, put something here. Yeah, and so 140 games, that's mostly going to affect players like Chaos Warriors. Because uh, most normal players don't really get that old, usually. Which means that I'm not really against the mechanic, to be honest. So my catcher is here. You can get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We can get over here. Not quite far enough. So the elves mostly don't live long enough to suffer from the effects of aging. Uh, so I think that's a good thing. Let's just start off blitzing the guy who's a scoring threat. Ah, damn. Damn, damn, damn. So he's still a threat. That means I can not be as cheeky about my plays as I would like. One, two, three, four, five, six. I do have a three plus three plus three plus pass to the catcher with skill rerolls on all of them. But then the catcher will be here surrounded by frenzy and wrestle. So that's not pretty. That's not pretty at all. But the alternatives aren't either willingness to live with no Oh, uh, cool. Thank you, uh, Guire Weeks. Appreciate it. Uh, sorry you didn't show up on uh, Twitch alerts then. And welcome. Thanks for the follow. So, get this guy up. He's not going to do anything. Um, uh, it, it really goes against my principles to just sit this one out. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. So passing to the catcher now would be pretty damn risky, even though he has blodge and my opponent doesn't have friend, uh, tackle. So I am going to try and pass this, actually. Which is risky. Which is very risky. But then humans need their three sometimes. A three plus pass and a three plus catch with reroll, yes. So we've got that. Now I can get this guy down. This guy has Fend, which is really annoying right now. This was supposed to buy me some space, but it barely does. Because it's still... Oh, 
Oh, move now. Time, Sage. Time. Come on. You've been there before. You've played in the Think Fast tournament. Didn't handle that well at all. Didn't count it out. Got stressed for time there. Should have made at least one go now, hoping for him to fail something. Where is his frenzy? Can he surf this? I think this is actually the frenzy guy, right? Yes, so he can't surf. That's good. Or he could with a uh, marking here. PTSD and else. I do like that explanation, actually. Yes, thank you, the black seed. Hi there, chill killer. Oh no, down you go, it is as it is. Miss next game, that's a pity. nice so um, I don't really play in many other leagues I've played in the in Yash's uh, one minute tournament occasionally yeah so not making this go for it was just really really silly uh, that depends on your starting setup of course uh, Thranduil uh, I like having uh, two witch elves um, Especially if you can get Juggernaut on one, I really enjoy that. No, there it goes. So he can still win. Oh, he doesn't want to pass here. Wow, he's just ignoring his opportunity to score to make another block. Good, I can live with that. Four blitzers, one runner. So you want uh, the Apo. And I, I could see arguments for either the um, third reroll or the Witch. And if you're playing on Cyanide in uh, the NAF, I would go for the uh, Witch option because crowd surfs in the NAF are quite easy to get done. And um, they will definitely. Uh, improve your game by a lot. If you can get a couple of surfs in, you will be dominating uh, a lot of teams. Uh, yes, you can link if you want to acquire weeks. Hmm. Let's see. Can blitz here. I could chain push this guy so I get two blocks there. That seems good. Also, he's dirty player. There. So now I get an extra block there. And this extra block actually already has guard on it. <coughs> so now I free up myself for an assist. Uh, the only thing close to a reroll for Leap is Pro, which is not a full reroll, but uh, if you're stuck in a turn where you've already used your team reroll, it is very nice to have around. Uh, the main benefit of that is uh, you have a better chance, uh, you get surfing from uh, game one basically. So both the Witch Elves and the Blitzers are great players, right? Uh, starting off with dodge is good, starting off with block is also good. 
uh, having one frenzy can really uh, either. So the thing about frenzy is it will it can save your. Um, I suppose getting a, a random pass here with dodge isn't impossible. Don't yeah, whatever doesn't matter. That's the half then. <laughs> So, um, the thing about Frenzy is, if your opponent is very skilled, Frenzy will just deny him options. He will stay away from the sidelines, which means you're limiting his positional uh, ability. If your opponent is a poor coach, uh, Frenzy will uh, get you lots and lots of players out. The nice thing about Surfs is, even if, you're, uh, if, you, if they don't cause injuries, they will still remove players for the drive. So still 1-0. I can make a quick 1-1 one, one and then use the wizard on the last drive. Mm. My opponent, while being while pretty successful in the game, I find that he hasn't made very uh, inspired decisions so far. So I'm willing to bet on taking the ball from him at some point. I do want to win and not just tie, so I will go for a quick uh, score. If I didn't have a wizard, I might consider playing for a tie, because humans are pretty rubbish, so I can't. I have to adjust my expectations somewhat. I suppose I could just blitz block with this guy, to be honest. Don't really need him here per se. I mean, scoring on turn four is five. Fine, it doesn't have to be on turn two or three. Hmm. Okay, let's do this thing. Let's get my cage together first. Yeah, so I've seen a lot of people make very... Um, I don't think I'm as vocal about it, but uh, I, I would never really look forward to playing the team. Let's get a good punch on a decent blitzer here. His real passing player. Getting him out could really help uh, on the uh, defensive drive that I'm planning to play after this one. And prepare for the foul. So I've got a catcher who could go here and screen this off a little bit. So I'm not too worried about this angle because you really can't reach this far. I will make the three die before the pickup. Yes, it's good. And this guy does not have fence, so my big guy can actually get next to the uh, agility two again. So I will do the pickup before the foul. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's safe enough. <laughs> Yeah, I got one. And not sent off either. Nice. Goodbye, Lancelot. If my opponent's good, he's probably gonna apple this. But he doesn't. Good. One down. Yeah. 
Yeah, so leap is kind of rubbish if you uh, if you've got break tackle and high strength. I've seen uh, I've seen someone play uh, a very fun uh, uh, Minotaur though. The Minotaur had um, dodge and uh, break tackle and two heads, so he dodged on agility six effectively. Thanks, Acquire. Ah, I see. Uh, I see what went on there, uh, Aguirre. By the way, um, it, the uh, PayPal will not automatically accept uh, British pounds. I have to actually click accept somewhere, and then <clears throat> your transaction will come through. So thanks a lot for the support. Appreciate it. No, so uh, break tackle and two heads stack, and um, dodge and break tackle complement indeed. Hmm. Let's see. If I I can chain push this guy, and then the ball goes here, but that's still dead for now. Or I can actually take the ball here. I think I'll just consolidate around here first. Oh, guard drats. Uh, let's do it the other way around then. That also works. Hmm, that's a pity. No chain push. Well, I can still do it. I uh, just need to get around there. But guard is going to be a problem now. Let's see. I guess if I'm going to make a one dive with this guy, I might as well dodge out with the thrower. So I'm going to be a bit more conservative here. That kind of sucks. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I could get here. Can I get that safe? Sure. How far can this guy get? 10 seconds, Sage. 10 seconds and counting. You're slow today. Right, so I want to go there. So I want to screen here. Go here. Oh, yes, that will be need a reroll. That will definitely need a reroll. Come on. No! God fucking damn it! So that kind of sucked. Uh, to be honest, my opponent did well. He put enough players on the ball with guard to force me to make a dodge rather than block him off. I was planning for a fun uh, chain push, but guard really screwed with that plan too much. And then I failed the dodge. Drat. This could be problematic. 
So, fun. You guys get to watch me lose. Always nice. Frenzy into a one die again. So it's always kind of frustrating when your opponent uh, makes mistakes. I mean, he's he's done some good plays to be honest, but he's also made some real mistakes that I think uh, weren't punished quite enough. Hmm. Oh, I guess I'm in the wrong accounts. Push me, and then just hurt me. So, quite a lot of opponents. Using the wizard now means basically giving up the win later. Huh. Blitzing this guy on the ball will require either my strength 4, who's here, or the ogre. Well, I'd rather use the strength 4 to be honest. Let's get the ogre somewhere relevant, shall we? We'll be back soon. So this is the game glitching out over my uh, brief disconnect there. Sorry about that. Um, if I'm going to blitz someone onto the ball, I'm better off blitzing the guard, I think. So I will blitz from this corner with my strength 4. There we go. And down he goes. I will follow this up. I need to get someone in there. And I'm not going to dodge after this anyway. And yes, the fact that I got someone in there might have actually done the thing. Alright, so he's got this guy. But I can outrun him. I've got my thrower. Let's just get some players down here first. Here. Four, five, six, pass, run down this way, make this block, mark someone, hope for the best. So obviously these are not the plays you want to have to make. Um, oh, and it's a fumble. So nice. I wouldn't mind giving Bretonians a spin at some point, to be honest. Thanks, mate! And here we go. Aguire Week. Aguire Weeks. Your, uh, your donation came through. Thanks a lot for the support again. I just had to uh, fiddle around with my uh, PayPal account for a bit there. Yeah, you probably turn into a, a French nobility and promptly get uh, guillotined. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, that's a that's a nice quote there, Biggles. Um, so what happened is he uh, put 10 quid in, uh, which then got to converted to euros. And I guess this is PayPal's conversion rate. Um, so the euro was actually quite low against the dollar last time I checked, which, which was irritating because I <clears throat> made a large uh, order from uh, Amazon. Let's see. This guy has guard, this guy does not. Where's my strength four at? He's here, that's not good. We'll have to get him up. I suppose I can just block the, uh, the guard with my... Uh, that's not good then. Well, I'm really, uh, I, I really need to make a move soon, and I'm, again, I'm taking risks I wish I wouldn't have to, but I really want to play for the win and not just for the tie, so I'm going to try, one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm going to try and hand off to this catcher here, um, the question is, in what order? I think I'll dodge with the thrower again. Which means I can blitz this guy off. Because the pickup and the catch are already a uh, 3 plus with skill reroll. So I can save my uh, team reroll for the, for the pick, for the dodge action. Oh, damn, 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 damn. Reroll, yes, please. Come on, this time, yes. Pick up, catch. So Agility 3 makes everything a lot more exciting, obviously, because any roll has a 1 in 9 chance of failing, pretty much. So how far can this guy reach? Here. How far do I want to go? Huh. One further than that, basically. But I'm not going to make this reroll. Rather, I'm going to dodge with Mac and see if I can set up a screen. Because failing that roll would really, really suck. Whereas getting a screen here. Oh, I don't. Yes, I uh, I did realize that, uh, the Messer, but thank you. Um, so my my native language, which is Dutch, is close enough to uh, to German to understand that. Yes. Hitte der Tafelrunde. That grease thing. Oh wow! That was the only guy who could blitz the ball. Uh, oh, it's a blocker. Yeah. Uh, I'm lying. It was not the only guy I could reach, but still, it was definitely the best shot at the ball. But again, he wants to hit the uh, ogre and foul him rather than stop the touchdown. Interesting stuff, this. <laughs> Mike! <laughs> Thank you, I hate odd numbers. <laughs> so, uh, 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 Flanders and Wallonian are in Belgium, and uh, I'm in Holland. So, uh, I'm in the, the country that doesn't have pseudo-French. I'm basically in the country that the people who aren't pseudo-French over in Belgium uh, got their language off of. That's correct, Trinity. Thank you. Um, 
Although I don't think Belgish is a word. Hmm. Where's the Mighty Blow? I'm sure the Mighty Blow was somewhere. Come on, is he sleeping or something? No, I'm just missing him consistently. Yes, he is sleeping. He's stunned here. Do I have someone with block at least? I do. Do I have someone worth blocking? Well, he's got reserve, so it has to be a positional in order to be worth blocking. In case I roll quad skulls, I will want to stand someone up. So scoring turn 13 would mean... Uh, having three turns to use the wizard and steal the touchdown. Now, they may be rubbish, but scoring quick-ish quick -ish is definitely something um, that they can do, so I will be taking a big risk. Good afternoon, Sean, man. <laughs> yeah, I think it is uh, Trinity. Tradition is not an argument for stuff. I agree, uh, Aguirre. Although, to be honest, fish and chips, really? So I will want to be putting up more of a defense, so I'm not going for what you guys call the boat formation this time. Also I am going to field my catcher because I want to actually steal, yes I know I can't field him. Stop making decisions for me. So I want to force him down the middle, no that's my catcher, damn you. Uh, I'm screwing this up. So, Blitzer here is fine, really. Hmm. At this point, the dirty player is no longer nearly as valuable as it was before. I don't like having my catcher here though. I think I prefer him there, to be honest. Yes. Yeah, this looks alright. So I'm basically trying to force him towards the center, uh, which is the also reasonably defended here. He has a frenzy, so a, a, a full uh, column setup doesn't work. Yeah, so this is this looks good. So he has enough guard to block the ogre, right? And uh, given how he's been playing so far, he's probably going to want to gang foul the ogre. Now, unfortunately, Cyanide has misimplemented the wizard in that it will also hurt players who are prone. Because if they didn't do that, a gang foul would be great for me because then I get all of his players in one place. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty convinced of the same thing, uh, Sean Man. It does the way he's been playing so far, fouls on the ogre instead of trying to score. Yep. So Pudney. Yeah, I don't like mayonnaise either. Um, Dutch people think that's really weird that I don't, but I don't eat mayonnaise. But then I don't eat uh, ketchup or mustard or stuff like that either. Which is actually, uh, sorry about that, which is actually quite good on the uh, the calories. <laughs> nice, uh, Basimo. Yeah, rat ogres really kind of suck. If I ever, uh, let me rephrase that. When I reboot the, uh, when I reboot the Skaven, I will, uh, uh, 
definitely play without a red ogre. So what I do eat is uh, chili sauce, um, uh, actual pepper sauce as well, you know, sambal is what we call it. Um, I do eat uh, uh, satay sauce, so the, the peanut based sauce, um, but usually just none at all really. My favorite foods, uh, interesting question, don't the success again. Mm. I don't know. I, I enjoy uh, pretty pretty varied sets of foods. Um, I eat. Uh, oh, good. So he hasn't gotten past. That's nice. Uh, I eat a lot of rice, plenty of pasta, um, pan pan fried potatoes. So not fried really, but baked in uh, in butter. I like those a lot. Oh, frenzy. It's, I think it's just something that grows here. Come on, foul already. Just And he's got the ball. <laughs> Where is he going to move, though? It's not worth uh, lightning bolting where he is now. But hopefully I can get to a spot next turn where it will be worth it. That is correct, the Masurk, and if I cared about soccer at all, I would probably get uh, pretty annoyed with that. But to be honest, I really don't. Or football, as some people insist calling it. So let's see, the Ogre will do nothing but stand up, of course. So I could block this. Uh, I can poke a hole here. And that seems very, very much the right play right now. I suppose I could use the Mighty Blow to do it. Oh, my, uh, my Steam appears to be talking to me. Three, four, five, six, seven. No, uh, I uh, misplanned that. I'm going to go with this because this way, if it's a push, at least I still get through there. It's not though. Nice knockout. That helps. So if I had used the mighty blow, he would have been a casualty. Oh well. So let's get some pressure first of all. And frenzy guy. I suppose in theory I could even surf this could have surfed this rather. So where are his knights? There's one here. Oh, that's a, that's a blocker actually. The knights are the goblet heads, like this guy. So this could lead to getting surfed here, but I'm not too worried about that. I'm more worried about this corner, to be honest. Well, it's only a blocker. Mm. Let's poke another hole there. Yay, it's good. I will follow this just to get more guys marked. Blocker and blocker. This is somewhat risky, of course. Three plus with reroll. Still got two rerolls, not too eager to spend another. Let's leave it at this, see if if and how he consolidates. Uh, 
Hey there, winner. Good to see ya. That sounds like a good assessment, uh, Sotaraz. Yes, that is correct. But it looks pretty good, I think. Damn you and your guard. So the good thing is I uh, managed to foul out his um, his decent passer earlier on. So this guy doesn't have anything. Um, and the guys down here don't have catch either. So he's, he's going on 3 plus plays with no reroll. And he's got quite a bit of his team bogged down here. Thanks for the follow, Sotaraz. So, Bustahimo stayed up. That is nice. Well done, Bustahimo. Yeah, I don't really mind the DLCs too much, to be honest. And so this is going to be a handoff, I guess. And then what? Oh, it's a failure. Fail it again. You can do it. Fail it again. Nope. I'm going to have to use the wizard then. This does look a lot like... Well, actually, this could be Fireball Wall. Thanks for the follow, Chill Killer. I, I kind of like that word somehow. Fireball Wall. Uh, uh, Knorr does seem to uh, to have their ear, which is great. Yes, agreed, uh, Aguirre. Now, I did say uh, he has a lot of his team bogged down around here, but to be honest, so do I. So I could still very much see the swing either way. And the half die is good. <laughs> well, you know, let's let, let's not give them too hard a time. I mean, um, they're they're located in Paris, and Paris has kind of had some, you know, rough time lately. So a lightning bolt here is less likely. Well, it's only three guys. Um, I'm still on the fence a bit. If the bounce is good on a lightning bolt, I could it could save me the game here. Yeah, it does seem like the right thing to do for him. If he goes here, then a fireball does become more appealing because if it doesn't get the ball carrier down, it could still result in a surf. So yes, I'm going to fireball on that premise. And here it goes. Come on, do it. Oh, that sucks. That just sucks so bad. So I need to get... Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. The guy has wrestled though, so a one die is not terrible. Mm, and then the ball could go just about anywhere. I don't really want to use this guy in case the ball lands somewhere around here. So let's do the one die thing. Yeah, it is good. I think the ball going out is better than the ball staying in at this point. So I'm just going to knock it down here. I'm not going to follow. Actually, I am going to follow because if I catch it by accident, that's better. Ah, for fuck's sake. So it's back on the blitzer. Hmm, I'm going to have to risk a surf here because I really need to get connected to the ball right now. Uh, it's turn 15, so if I want to win this guy, ah, someone, not this guy per se, the catcher can go there, of course. Because obviously the strength 4 should be marking the ball here. My opponent also has two turns, so he could actually win this still. I need to be here to help prevent that. Uh, I want my catcher out. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want my catcher here, I think. Here works fine. Yes. Now I block this guy. Good. Because then I get my guard on. Oh, nice. Ogre gets something. Um, it's only the first time it makes a difference. This was actually... Uh, and nice to see you again, fellow sage. Uh, this was actually mis-implemented um, in Blood Bowl 1, but it's fixed in Blood Bowl 2. So if your dodge is good enough that you don't need uh, the skill, then it won't actually get used. Actually, here is better. I have two rerolls, don't I? I've got two turns as well, so there's no point in saving a reroll anymore. Although it seems that once again there's no point in using the reroll either. Yes, only when a regular dodge fails and break tackle would uh, succeed. Correct. Oh, sorry about that. Must be my uh, pattern recognition going on there. I'm pretty sure I've made that mistake before as well. You've got a kind of dark green color here on the stream, uh, which is what I'm looking at, and it's uh, not too easy to detect back off the... Uh... Yeah, it could work, definitely. It's not over yet, that's for sure. Welcome back, Video Game Bondage. I'm not so sure, Trinity, because I never really played uh, Chaos Edition, but I'm sure sure someone here knows. Hey there, uh, Durko. Damn, 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 damn. This just didn't go well at all. Uh, um... We might be looking at an ogre dodge at this point, although I've still got my strength four here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. With one dodge and two goes, he could make it. Humans can bash pretty well, just they can't bash Arbor Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Question is, who will get the ball after that? Well, not the ogre. I suppose I could blitz with the ogre. Or actually, just assist with the ogre and blitz with Mac, and then ho hope to get the ball with Biggles and get it to. Yeah, that's the plan. One go then. Bretonians start off with more, uh, oh, bugger off. Bretonians start off with more block, uh, which makes them. So th in this case, I really shouldn't follow up, because if I catch the ball, the game is done. But then again, if it doesn't bounce, if it bounces around here, I'm more worried about losing than about not winning. And I do catch it, which means I can no longer win. Damn. Well, let's hope I can manage to keep my tie then. My my tie. That's a drink, isn't it? Not what I meant. So let's get the strength four down here at least. Hmm. Actually. Oh yeah, that doesn't work. Duh. Hmm. This guy should get up. Hey there, Jimmy. Good to see ya. You're about to watch me lose to Bretonians. How's that? Yeah, Agility 3 is not reliable. Definitely true. I do have a, a, a decent bunch of humans over on Fumble, to be honest. Let me link them for you guys. So this is what humans look like uh, when they're mature, uh, the way I like them. Yeah. 
Well, at least I don't lose. It's merely a bad tie. Wow, oh, didn't I respond to that? Uh, yeah, whatever. In, in, in Blood Bowl 2 it does feel a bit like that, Aguirre. But with humans, I don't mind quite as much, right? I mean, if I lose on my Dark Elves, or if I tie on my Dark Elves, or uh, on my Wood Elves, it really feels like a loss. I mean, I've retired two Wood Elf teams already that had a couple of wins and a loss. Yeah, Killer Orc does seem to, uh, to really take the punches. He's a good punching bag. So on... Uh, on Fumble, I did go with a 16-player roster because uh, it's in ranked, and I found that I really couldn't get because they were bashy enough that I couldn't get games against anything squishy, and so I decided to just go with the roster that I would take uh, for games against dwarves or orcs because just about all my games with them were against dwarves or orcs. So, I lost a fan factor. Yes, that's good, because fan factor is bad for you. And the ogre skilled again. MVP for the ogre. Now he can either roll doubles or get fired, I suppose. Nope. Mm. I don't have the money to replace him, but then I do have 13 players, so I don't really need to either. I'm sorry, Putney, you're gone. I will be getting a new Putney at some point. Thanks for dropping by, uh, Party Food. So, uh, dropped a lot of team value. Right, there was a question about the, uh, the standings on my Dark Elf, so let's see what they are. I'm still in number 13, so I'm still on the front page, but just barely. Um, so I have 78 games, two of which were losses, and one of those two losses was uh, a crash rather than an actual loss. But then again, I don't have 23 nil nil. So uh, I am the only game, only team on page one with two losses, though. Um, so I'm probably going to drop from there soon. I don't think I'll touch them anymore until I'm confident that I've fixed the uh, the crashing thing. So uh, the the thing about fan factor is that it's basically uh, its its purpose is to be a handicap system. Fan factor adds team value to your team while adding very little value to your team. 